India is known as land of contrast. India is a land of Kama Sutra. People in modern era, they are kind of very conservative. Their approach is very conservative when it comes to virgin. All the other films were through a man's perspective. Mm -hmm. But this film, that too about a sensitive topic like virginity is through a female's perspective. Hi, Rishi. Welcome to Bollywood Life. Thank you so very much, Imran, for having me. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the awesome first of all. Are you in Mumbai right now? Yes, I'm in Bombay right now. Yeah. It's raining, and it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So talking it's about the good things happening right now, the I saw the trailer. All right. It's really amazing. You know, I've seen in Avatar that I've never seen you in before. All right. Or whatever Avatar we saw you in the films, it was totally different from it. I like the trailer. All right. Tell me how's the response been so far from your end? How are people receiving it? Because it's already streaming online, right? Uh, yes, I mean, it started streaming uh, yesterday and uh, yesterday we had the world digital premiere for our, our film, Virgin Bhanupriya. Uh, so then, yeah, I mean, when I was offered the film, it was supposed to be a theatrical release, but now, uh, you know, it has released on Z5 Premium. And I'm very happy about it because, you know, uh, the reach, uh, which, uh, you know, uh, the OTT platforms have is kind of, uh, I mean, <laughs> is limitless and also uh, i mean i've uh, i've got great response from uh, people uh, from the bollywood or whosoever has seen the film uh, i don't know that you know the entire look of my um, in the film is of very chashmish cute pretty looking girl um, right. unlike my other films and i'm really happy that people are, you know actually believing and they um, they, they love Chupanupriya. that that's a huge uh, i think uh, it really matters to me thank you all right. So talking about that, look, yeah, you 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 are right that those geeky glasses are looking really cute on you. So that we can appreciate. And people have been talking about it. So I read read few articles as well. But let's talk about the title of the particular film, all right? So what the first time when you were presented with the title, what was going in your mind at that time, and what what did you interpret with that title? What was that? Uh, actually, when I was offered the film, uh, there was no such title. It was uh, okay. you know always an untitled film when I was working on it. But the fact that you know I really loved the relationship which Mahanupriya shared with her parents. I think it was a very beautiful relationship, and uh, I really like liked her thought process because Mahanupriya is a very innocent and a very down to earth and conservative girl who believes in uh, true love, and all she wants wants in, wants in her life is you know uh, true love in her life, and she w wants to fall in love. Um, also, her parents are kind of separated, mm -hmm. and uh, but still, she wants her parents to be together. So I really, uh, you know, I kind of, um, I loved this. Uh, I loved the relationship which Bhanupriya shares with her parents, and that's what made me. And I love the story. Uh, uh, so that's what made me sign the film. And uh, I think it's it's a brilliant subject because it's going to be happening for the very first time where the female desire will take center center stage right. and so many other films my colleagues be you know Aishwan Khurana's Vicky Dona when he, where he played Sperm Dona or Dam Laga Ki Haisha which the film was about uh, body shaming and uh, the other film you know uh, Shumanga Zara Sabha again about same-sex marriage Akshay Kumar Sir's as well Padman which was again about periods so all of these films were based on very sensitive topics but at the same time they all were family films and if, if you watch Virgin Bhanupriya's uh, trailer um, and you, you'll get to know that it is actually a very family oriented, you know, Correct. film so lots of fun and laughter is uh, no vulgarness uh, and there's no, um, you know, a moment where you'll feel uncomfortable. It is a completely, you know, perfect we can watch and a family film. And the director, I, I'd like to thank director because you know the kind of way he shot the film uh, with a lot of sophistication. So uh, yeah, the film is uh, made with a lot of sophistication. Talking about the story and the message that the film is trying to give out, uh, give right now, right? So the so there are certain words in our society still considered to be taboo, and one of the words is virgin. It's used to insult people or to or to shame someone, right? So to make a movie around this topic, was it a motive to create a dialogue or you know create awareness around this thing? Was that the motive behind the movie? Not at all. I think that the, uh, you know, I, I do understand that it's a very sensitive topic and, uh, you know, virgin is, uh, virgin is a, a highly stigmatized in a nation like ours. And, you know, uh, people, there's also this uh, huge survey which was done and adult virgins feel that it is less of a social blessing and more of a social curse. Uh, I see 
what we really want to show out there and what we really want to present out there is that virginity is uh, circumstantial and this is not something which you know which can be forced uh, you to do something which makes you really uncomfortable and you should not fall into the societal pressure or you know a pressure from uh, your friends uh, to be you know to just uh, go for it and go for uh, something which is uh, you know very uncomfortable for your body um, i think it is a personal decision and it is a personal choice and, uh, uh, and that's what we are trying to say in the film like if you see the film uh, though she's a very conservative girl but at the same time you know her mo mother in the film and her best friend kind of acts as a catalyst in bhanu priya's life ki mom is like ki bhanu ladka hona chahiye to ekdam heroic type hona chahiye best friend is like कि अरे तू तो वर्जन वर्जन की वर्जन ही रहेगी तू तो वर्जन ही मरेगी यू नो सो थिंग्स लाइक दैट इज हैपनिंग सो आई जस्ट वांट टू से दैट सो बट बट द सैड पार्ट इज दैट भानु प्रिया फॉल्स फॉर इट एंड शी काइंड्स ऑफ ट्राई टू बिकम डेस्परेट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रूव ऑल द एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स रॉन्ग एंड यू नो बिकॉज देयर इज दिस वन मोमेंट इन द फिल्म वेयर एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स एंड टैरो कार्ड रीडर्स दे कम इन आई हैव सीन दैट इन ट्रेलर दे टेल हर फादर दैट की आपकी बेटी की कुंडली में तो योनि त्रिटि योग है तो उसका कभी मिलन नहीं हो पाएगा या उसकी कभी शादी नहीं हो पाएगी सो समवे डाउन द लाइफ शी वॉन्ट्स टू प्रूव ऑल ऑफ देम रॉन्ग एंड दैट्स द रीजन इट यू नो काइंड ऑफ फोर्स हर टू टेक दैट डिसीजन टू टू गो फॉर इट एंड टू डू समथिंग विच मेक्स अ फील अनकम्फर्टेबल एंड आई थिंक यू नो द अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट मैसेज विच अकॉर्डिंग टू मी लाइक इफ यू गो इन द पास्ट uh india is known as land of contrast india is a land of kama sutra wherever you know i was born in haridwar which is city of temples and land of uh, gods uttarakhand even if you go to the temples you can see a lot of uh, erotic uh, you know naked sculptures okay. of god when you enter temples so uh right even if we talk about mahabharat or any you know uh, mythological book uh, there were so many maharajas and all the characters in mahabharat they are openly talking about premarital sex and virginity at right. that time you know they really had an open mindset but due to the british colonization in india uh, somewhere down the line they became you know people and it kind of impacted their brains and they it made it british colonization made indians yeah. very uh, double standard in terms of yeah. term virginity and uh, then if you talk about the modern era still it is you know um, i would say it's it's very interesting to know that people in modern era they are kind of very conservative their approach is very conservative when it comes to virginity right. um you can see so many matrimonial ads where you know the first title states that the uh, the girl needs to be you know the bride should be sought after virgin there are so many surgical procedures I, where you know the female, that happen the women Yeah, exactly. You know, in matrimonial ads, just just open the matrimonial ads, and you'll just see that you know the girl has to be um, sought after virgin. It is completely clearly mentioned. And in uh, like like in like in um, modern India, you know, the girl's purity or the girl's moral values are equivalent to her virginity. So you know that is the kind of uh, that is how they measure girls' purity or uh, her moral values and how she is. uh you know she has a, if, if she has a good character or not so so many rural rural in rural areas so many females they have to go through so many surgical procedures to be pure in front of their spouses or to be pure in front of their families or in, you know in, in front of this in front of the society so i think yeah that's the thing and that's what is kind of a sad part because you know um uh, i really hope with this film you know we are trying to break, break the stereotypes and we are trying to prove that you know female desires um, as as i told you that you know in this film female desires will take center stage um i could easily you know uh, i mean a lot of people when you know always uh, uh, i mean all the other films work through a man's perspective mm -hmm. but this film that too about a sensitive topic like virginity is through a female's perspective mm -hmm. so that's what makes this film super special all right talking about the uh, stereotypical notion of a society as well you know uh, recently something happened that fair and lovely changed its name to glow and lovely you know and now this defines the stereotypical notion of beauty standard that we are following in our society all right so that what do you have to say about that you know does a fair is better do you do you believe that fair is better uh no not at all i think you know all these terms like uh, as i said you know uh, girls moral values or their uh, mm. purity is based on virginity i think that that's really a sad mindset and you know people need really need to be uh, need to have uh, open minds that kind of approach right. towards 
girls and they should respect them and you know this is not the way that how you should because if, even if we talk about we never ask a guy if he's virgin or not so how can you just like you know kind of test females well if you know um if she's virgin or not and at the same time i truly i i'm someone who kind of embraces all the you know skin colors and i i whatever step was taken by this brand which you're mentioning i think it's a um it's 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 really commendable it's a great step cool so let's talk about the ott as a platform right now you know how brave is ott as a platform for you right now and what do you think are the perks of it apart from it's getting releases for releases worldwide and everything what are the small things you know uh that you look forward when you when your movie is getting released on ott platform or what are the perks i can say and using a female as a protagonist and the movie is revolving around that so how brave it is according to you now just oh see as an actor it's very important to be flexible um and also we know that what we are going through right now we are going through a pandemic which is covid-19 and it is uh, something which is very serious um uh, no matter how big a film is or whatsoever but i think ott in a way is very safe for the well being and for the health of all our fans and loved ones who are going to watch the film and um so i think ott is the best platform right now because uh, um i i theaters are closed and i really don't see um, i mean i really don't know when it will be opening or when a movie will release in the theater mm-hmm. all right fair enough okay last few questions and i'll let you go then all right this is some quick question that i'm going to ask you it's uh, it revolves around the lockdown so tell me since we are locked in at home right now have you discovered any hidden talent right uh, that you can do this also beside acting and doing this you know a uh, good in business okay all right okay if you had to choose a lockdown partner if you had a choice to choose a lockdown partner it has, it has to be a celeb who would you choose again a hypothetical question and why celeb i'm just so happy with my family so i don't need a celeb <laughs> but if i have to choose i, w- I would choose uh, shahrukh khan Okay, yeah. great choice. Good yeah. choice. All right. So okay, I learn a lot. All right. Last question. What shows are you currently binge watching, and you recommend your fans to go ahead and watch that as well? I only recommend watching Pan Priya right now. <laughs> That's a very good. That's a very good way to promote it. But thank you so much for chatting with me, Amashi. Uh, best of luck for the movie. Uh, it looks amazing. I'm going to so go ahead and watch it today. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So